Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Hall. Uh, last time I showed you how to start up your company and um, well I ended taxiing to my first flight and I already accomplished that. And you can see in my cash I'm now at uh, 54,900 approximately euros and that means I finished my first job I earned 4,900 euros and um, well now let me show you what um, or how you continue using air holder you just select your company click on OK and it tells you company loaded successfully and uh, take some time to bring the um, to bring the menu up okay and um, you can see if I'm going to the I'm going to the jobs board now and um, you can see at my fleet that I'm currently located at key as uh, KESW sorry and um, well when I go to the jobs board you can easily see that there are no jobs currently available for that um, departure destination so um, that's something you have to keep in mind when you fly to very um, small strips that probably you won't get a job um, going back to your base or anywhere else so I'm s I was searching for something which is near the location uh, I am right now and this is WA77 and um, it takes me back to my base so I'm going to do a relocation flight or a positioning flight now so um, what I'm doing is I'm going to my fleet and I click on my aircraft and I fly aircraft to airport self because I cannot afford any AI flights uh, right now so I click on that and um, I type in the airport ICAO co code it takes me there I select it and you can see this is the positioning flight now and um, it's it's fine I will keep it like that and there's no car cargo to load I'm going to set the uh, two hours of flight time which is more than enough for this flight and uh, well yeah I'm going to start up FSX now and we'll see each other in the cockpit alright here we are in the cockpit at KESW and um, I haven't loaded my cargo yet so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to switch to air hauler and um, you don't see that right now but just bear with me and uh, now I am you see that the cargo is being loaded wait a minute it should work right now something's not right here um, okay FSX is still running but I'm having some problems with the window right now just let me check that okay sorry it seems that is working now so you can see the airplane is now loaded um, and I'm going to do the startup now and I'm um, well this episode basically it's not going to be only this flight because I think that's just boring I mean you don't want to see me flying around the woods uh, like for an hour or something and um, the good thing about air hauler is that you can use time compression so that's what I do because I don't wanna spend hours and hours just for positioning flights all that stuff so that's very convenient so I'm not going to show you um, all the um, all the flying I do but some part of it, it yes if there's something very interesting to see um, so I think this episode is going to be a compilation of flights I'm doing um, let's see where it will take us my goal right now in air holder is basically to get my reputation up above 50 percent so that I can lease or buy a bigger aircraft that's my main target or my uh, yeah my intention right now so um, yeah let's see where this is going to take us I'm going to do the uh, takeoff right now so I need the master the fuel pump beacon and let's start her up okay working switch on the landing lights, taxi lights, nav lights 
pizza heat and I'm already switching on the strobe light and the avionics very well we're going to do flaps one perfect and you can see this is very uneven terrain so um, it's going to take a lot of power I think for the taxi run um, in case you're wondering I'm always having um, Plan G running next to FSX. I, I really love that tool and for doing VFR flying like I'm doing right now is um, well it's awesome. It's just awesome. So brakes. Okay we're going to um, taxi to the takeoff point now. This is just a very very small airstrip. I can see the spray is coming again. Well, if you have any suggestions how I can get rid of this effect, it would be highly appreciated, I guess, because it looks awful, I think. Okay, so this is the runway. And I'm going to head out uh, in a in a westerly direction almost, and um, I will I will show you the the um, well yeah the problems that come with uh, flying such uh, small airplanes and doing a lot of VFR flying like you're doing in at the beginning of air haulers. So let's wait for the takeoff run here. We have to center on the runway first. So, let's go. Ah, that's a bumpy ride. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, let's go. All right. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the flaps already. And I'm going to switch the um, autopilot on. Oh, no, no, not yet. Just wait a minute. There has to be, I think there is a train line going down this valley, at least according to Plan G. So I'm going to try to follow this train line. Just wait a minute, I have to go to the radio stack, switch on the autopilot, and uh, crank up the altitude, which will be, I will go to for 8,000 feet. Altitude, and let's. So, okay, yeah. So, you, what I wanted to tell you is um, that the problem with doing all this VFR flying here in this beautiful country is um, y you see the the, um, the Cessna it's just it's just not a very powerful aircraft it doesn't have a, a high um, well um, the maximum altitude isn't very high and you can see easily here that this is a very mountainous terrain so this gives you um, wait a minute I have no control over this one Okay, now it works. Um, and you can easily guess that this gives you, this will give you some problems um, because you have to navigate this terrain and there are often clouds here, heavy winds, and, and that's uh, the usual situation here. So uh, what you want to do is um, you have to plan ahead. This is not like um, the usual, well, it, it depends on what you do, but this is not the usual um, jet or airline flying that you do this is really this is bush flying and that's what I um, sometimes miss when I'm doing um, my regular flying because I do a lot of um, I, I love flying those big jets but sometimes this is great too and um, yeah well you have to plan ahead that's what I'm trying to tell you you have to take a look at the mountain peaks that are um, 
around you, how high they are and how high you will have to go. So I'm trying to climb now to a, um, to a good altitude to get over these mountains so that I can um, fly an almost direct heading. So, And that's what I wanted to show you. If you have Plan G, you will see that there is a, a train line going um, through a kind of valley under beneath me and that valley is almost going to the airport that I want to go and so I'm following this this train line you see down there and this train line should um, take me take me to this um, airport in, in fact I, I just I don't know if it's really a train line let me check yeah it should be a train line so this would be the train line you see down there and it should make this turn here to the west and I should be able to follow it so if you have very accurate regions or representation of those regions like I have here with the full terrain Orbex uh, product then you can do some very serious VFR flying so that's fun to do and that's what I'm going to do here and um, like I said this episode is going to be a compilation let's just see where it takes us and I hope you bear with me I hope you bear with LF cargo until next time happy landings